So we've worked together at Pottergrass before. This event is obviously much bigger than the one we, we did in Tampa. Um, like I said, uh, she's a wonderful friend. She's a fantastic medium. And after Murray passed, uh, she allowed me to talk to Murray for, well, the better part of about a half hour, just sending me messages from him. The dog is stealing your thunder. Lots of salami and gas. Salami and gas, yes. Murray, Murray loves salami, and he can outfart his dad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, when we were putting this event together, uh, it was a no-brainer to bring April up. And here we are in the middle of cold and snow, and April is coming to us from, coming to us from Florida. <laughs> so here we are. She's freezing, but she's here. Uh, she's going to talk about intuition. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to April. Thank you. Hello, hello. Now, is, do I click, click? Is this going to run? Did you get it going? Oh, you know what? I'm in. <laughs> no, we didn't. He's How do I hear you? Hey, I'll be right with you. I'm live, so if any of you are, you know I go live all the time. And um, a lot of people. Everybody say hi. 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 People in Florida are like, oh my god, that's white stuff. Does anybody know the password for the white stuff? It's open. Even better. <laughs> You guys had jet skis out there last night that I saw. Snowmobiles. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my god. An ice? Yes. Yeah. It's on Yep. No pressure. <laughs> yep. so I won't play his part. I could try. He sounds like Barry White sometimes. Like, good morning. Good morning. Keep talking. <laughs> Is he watching? I'm sure he's like, stop talking about me. You just might have to use this. All right. Spirit loves to improvise. And if some of you know it's Mercury retrograde, quiet. <laughs> Crickets. So anything like this is going to be wonky. <clears throat> Thank you. You can be Vanna White. Uh, 
Oh, she did it. Uh, so I wanted to talk about intuition. In fact, Braxton and I have discussed this and did this presentation at South Carolina Paracon. And <clears throat> I love intuition because when you start to talk about energy, I lose most of the paranormal investigators. And I'm like, no, 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 come, come back here. Because everything with investigating is energy. All of the equipment is, is put together to pick up on energy. Uh, and I like to go into that because when we start to use the word intuition, some people get into that, uh, I don't know. And um, I'm gonna skip to the. Okay, next one. Are, are you? I was, I was asking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fear Paranormal, Dallas, Houston, Florida. Uh, and we met actually at PIA, Paranormal Information Association, in Sebring in 2016 discussing empathy. Uh, <clears throat> so that was really cool. And uh, we've been together ever since. Uh, I am a psychic medium. I'm just a channel. I just hold space for spirit. Easy. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, just take my job away. <laughs> All right. Um, doing what we do, in fact, most, in fact, everybody, a lot of people go, I have the gift. We all have the gift. We all have abilities. In fact, I don't like to call them abilities. To me, it's just a microphone through which speak, spirit speaks to you. And each of us have different ways in which spirit, thank you so much. You want to <laughs> Thank you. Each of us have different ways through which spirit can communicate with us. Um, also known as interpreting energy around you. Most of you do this with your spouses every day. Before they pull into the drive, you can feel what kind of evening it's going to be. Right? You can get a text message back and you just know what the mood is in that text message. That's clear cognizance. We just know what's going on. Of course, they call us, you know, you're making something out of nothing. But uh, we all have ways in which spirit speaks to us, and it's always through energy. Whether you're clairvoyant, clear cognizant, clear knowing, clairvoyant, clear seeing. Michelle experienced clear seeing earlier. It's not always with our naked eyes. Uh, in fact, all of us are able to interpret energy different ways. You actually do it more often on a day-to-day -day basis than you realize. So when people go, help me be a better psychic, I'm like, let me help you let go. Let me help you relax. So when uh, we were asked to talk about intuition, I thought this is perfect because intuition has nothing to do with just being a psychic medium. You use it at the grocery store. We ignore it at the mall. You feel it, right? We won't admit it. Braxton, look away. Um, and intuition really is a part of us. It's not separate from us. And it helps us navigate through life on a day-to-day -day basis. We know when something's off because we feel it. Those who are clairsentient, clear feeling. All my empaths, clairsentient. You're going to absorb other individuals, living beings, energy, emotion. Uh, some of us went to the Silver Muzzle Cottage yesterday there wasn't a dry eye in the house. I mean, we were, Michelle was all over the floor with them, Chelsea was with them. Um, <clears throat> animals communicate with energy, and the clairsentients can feel that. So intuition is a natural part of who we are. It's not abnormal, to me it's very normal. I love taking science and connecting and emerging it with the, some people call the fluffy stuff, your head up in the clouds, all this weird foo-foo stuff. Who called it, not crystals, but I collect rocks, you know? <laughs> when you put it in everyday terms, or this quote, gut feelings have their value in decision making, perhaps more than most rationalists would guess from psychology today. You know, a lot of times when we go into energy investigating or readings, you don't always have science to back you up. So when I saw the quote from Albert Einstein, um, there's Steve Jobs, stated the power of intuition and, hold on, I'm 42 and my eyes don't work anymore. Um, Steve Jobs stated the power of intuition uh, and then described its impact on his work at the helm of Apple. 
Intuition is a very powerful thing, quote unquote, he told writer Walter Isaacson, more powerful than intellect, and that quote came from CNBC. So I love when like big companies quote things, and I'm like, yes! And if you know a lot about Steve Jobs, a lot of what he did was um, based on intuition. Apple never existed before him. So when we go into intuition, I'm coming to help you. I, I, I think I found it. Okay. To me, intuition is the language of the soul. Think about that. It's the language of the soul. If you walked into the room, for those of us who are in love, and you saw that person, you know at that moment you cannot unsee each other. Put that into words. There's so many words. Your soul communicates. And that intuition is that knowing, that feeling. You know, when you really think about your ex, how many of us have exes in that room? Maybe. Pride, <laughs> put that up there, right? Um, that feeling doesn't feel so good. There was that gut feeling, this isn't working out. We're at work. How many people sit at their desk every day knowing it's draining me? Gotta make the bills, but I'm drained. We and we ignore that intuition, and then we wonder why we are so unhappy. Um, it is defined as quick and ready insight. Immediate apprehension or cognition, knowledge or conviction gained by intuition. Tim, those pictures. Okay. <laughs> the power or faculty of, of attaining to direct knowledge or cognition without evident rational thought and inter infer inf inference. It's so much easier behind me. So we're going into all of this, and when we go into active locations and we're doing investigating, how many of you walk in first and you go, I got goosebumps. This feels heavy. Or I feel there's a little girl. You're interacting with energy, whether that's happening or not. You're feeling, you're picking up on something. Um, I wanted to play this for you. Oh, you can't, it won't work. I have a video on here where it says, don't guess, and you watch the video, and I'm gonna go into the different uh, ways that we interpret energy, because this video isn't gonna work. Okay, so clairvoyant, intuition is unknown. You can't always see, you can't see intuition but you feel it. The, the worst part is I see so many people accurately picking up on things, on points, or as our 18-year-old say on fleek, but they doubt it, they question it, and then they talk themselves right out of it. I watch people talk themselves out of their power every day. If I start looking at you and winking, it's just because there's something there. <laughs> people are like, why is she looking at me? Because that's your sign, that's your message. Um, so clairvoyant, when we close our eyes, and if all of you want to just close your eyes, take a moment, take a breath with me. Everybody just take a breath in. We just ate. Open your mouth, exhale, dump the junk out, let it go. Good job. I'm watching some of you really enjoy it. Some feel really weird. Take another breath. Breathe that breath in. As long as you're able to do, to do that, that means you're alive. Hold that breath in your gut the best that you can. Open your mouth, exhale, push it out. Give it back to the universe. And one final breath, breathe into your body. Breathe into your gut. And open your mouth and let it go. Now, when your eyes are closed, clairvoyance is where you can see clearly. Some of you are going to try to see through your naked eyes looking at the back of your eyelids. That's not often where I see things. It's always going to be almost like a thought, a visual, almost like your mind's eye, a memory. As you start to play with that, you're actually strengthening that clairvoyant muscle. When you, some of us aren't able to see, some of us are not naturally clairvoyant. You might be having a hard time visually seeing, um, think about your favorite holiday, your favorite meal, as you keep visualizing it. Uh, how many times do you drive alone and you're just in that zone, spirit's talking to you. 
You're picking up things. You're seeing things. No one's bothering you. Um, clairvoyance is clear seeing. If this is how you work with energy, if you work with spirit, use this in your day-to-day -day life. People get a little nervous because what if I see it wrong? I'm going to mess my life up. Honeys, we've already messed our life up. How many times have we recovered? Don't be afraid of your intuition. It's part of who you are. That's like us completely holding our nose going, I'm not sure if I can breathe correctly. It's natural. I think society puts such a stigma on it. Um, but people from all over come for readings. It's kind of amazing. Don't use my clairvoyance. I want you to use your clairvoyance. Clairsentient, this is a big one. This is one of my favorites, and it's one of the hardest. It's clear feeling. Clear feeling is just that feeling that someone is feeding you stuff that doesn't feel right. I had to see who was in the room in case something else came out. Sometimes when your spirit guides are going and speaking and I'm channeling them, they don't always, they're not always um, politically correct. Sometimes they have a potty mouth like you do. So, um, Claire said, Jane, clear feeling when you're watching the Sarah McLaughlin commercials. How many of you can't watch them? Right? The minute you hear her singing, it's like, turn that, I don't want to see it. Um, feelings, when we lose a loved one, some of us cannot go to uh, funerals, even if it's for a friend, because we can feel the amount of pain and disconnect before we even get there. Uh, clairsentience is wonderful because when you're at work and someone's telling you something, you will feel if they are honest or off. You can also see people like our kids look at us and tell us stuff and you know they're lying and you can actually feel what's really happening. Clairsentience, I really do believe, is imperative for humanity right now. It's how we connect to each other. Too many of us are afraid to be vulnerable with our feelings, so we shut everybody out, including ourselves. Clear sentience, clear feeling, empaths are individuals that are able to feel the exact emotions of other living beings. This means animals, earth. I mean, Florida, we have hurricanes a lot, even if they just go over us. Nature empaths tend to feel storms before they come. The minute the storm leaves, nature empaths, fine. And that's when everybody else goes crazy. Uh, you have medium empaths, so people who are actual mediums communicating with the other side. They will feel with your, like I, I will close my eyes, I will actually feel what your loved one wants me to feel. Clairsentience is a humdinger because it doesn't always feel good. And sometimes we don't know that it's not us. We pick up on our sister's stuff, we pick up on your stuff, and we go home and bring all of that with us, and we walk in and our wife goes, what the heck is your problem today? We don't realize that 90% of it is actually not us at all. When you're clairsentient, you're gonna feel it. So, but that's a way a spirit's gonna talk to you. So how many of, I like saying the word prayer, but this is where most people are like, no, don't get into religion, I'm not. When you pray, it's just focused intention, no matter what your belief is. When you pray, how many of you often say, I just want to hear source, and we literally will wait and try to hear. Some people can, most people will not ever hear, but yet source is speaking and screaming, and you're feeling it. It's hard when we're raised and taught how not to feel because we are natural feelers. So automatically, it's gonna feel bad, it's gonna feel off. If you're clairsentient, I always say, embrace it. Because you're gonna be fighting yourself, because everything around us is living. Everything. You go into an active environment, and clairsentients will feel how they passed away. And they will make you feel how they passed away. Claircognizance, this one's a little bit of a difficult one, but if you ever said, how, how do you know that? I don't know, I just know. How did you know to stop at the store first, buy that lottery ticket, and then you won 20 bucks? I don't know, I just, I just knew. Claircognizance is clear knowing. There's not much to that, but it is a big deal. When you trust yourself, claircognizance is very easy. When you doubt yourself, claircognizance is not easy at all. Clairaudient. If you guys ever saw Chip Coffee, 
on one of the shows, he did bring up a point where he put the cotton balls over his eyes. So when you close off one sense, it will magnify others. So close your eyes because those who are clairaudient, I want one of those senses closed. Now, I want you to think of your most favorite song when you were 16 in the car of your dreams or your boyfriend's car or your girlfriend's car. Listen to that song playing. Christmas music, you can hear your grandfather, dad's dad, so you can hear him whistling. Those of you who are able to just dial right into that, that's clear audio, it's clear hearing. When you're actually at an active location, a lot of people will go, did you hear those kids? No, I hear them all the time. I can hear crying, I can hear, it's energy. You're just picking up on energy. So if you want to hear from your spirit guides, often you close your eyes, they often will communicate with you through music, movies. So clear audience will actually receive that, but you'll hear it almost inside, not often with your naked ears. And then Claire Alien, Claire Gustin. This is a great one. This is why I always say I'm a little curvy because your grandmothers made me taste the food they made. However, when you're right, I'm like, what is this pierogi she's making? Um, there goes 10 pounds. Um, but when I work missing persons cases, I smell blood. I can taste dirt. So these gifts, and that's why people say, I'm not gonna open it up, I'm not gonna tap into it. You can't not, you already are. We just selectively think if it's bad, I don't want it. But it's part of you, and sometimes you are supposed to experience those bad things. I don't believe in good and bad, but it protects you. So I just thought intuition was such a big deal. This video is actually really good, but I can't play it. Um, it is a video, ironically, about animals. And uh, one of the news stations down south did a whole thing on a special bond between animals. And so those of you, I'm sweating up here. I think we're going through the change, so just work with me. Um, animals naturally sense energy. It's how they protect themselves, that's nature. Uh, if you ever watch a storm coming, where do the birds go? They start acting crazy, right? Uh, before loved ones come in for Christmas dinner, the energy kind of gets crazy. You can feel it, anxiety goes up. Animals, you know, Animals know when someone is open and when someone is off. They don't meditate. They don't question. They just show up. But if you ever watch them, there's a lot that we can learn about feelings and energy. Uh, and this video goes into it, however, I can't play it. Our gut instinct helps us heal, avoid pain. Those of us who are foodies ignore the avoid pain thing, because if it's pasta, it's going down. Um, steer clear of danger. There's a lot of times when we're out there and someone's driving on the road, it's late at night, they're, they're swerving. How many times do you feel going to pull back a little bit? Where did that come from? Or let me punch it, let me just get out in front of him. Your guides will often talk to you through your clairs, through energy, through your intuition. And yes, we all have spirit guides and you don't have to earn them. I've tried to fire them, but you can't fire them either. Um, they help us grow. Intuition helps protect those we love. Mo How many moms are, are here today? Dads? Grandpas? So uh, with our, our kids, in fact, they always say moms have eyes in the back of their heads, right? Well. It's allowed a lot. It, my mom, I would rollerblade through the streets of South Beach, and I, who does that? You know, and my mom always would say, you weren't there on time. How do you know that? That intuition helps save our kids. You're totally funny. The most handsome. Um, intuition helps us become abundant. This one is like, ooh, but there's so many people in this room that have a very toxic relationship with money. If you think about it, there would never be a problem with money if there was plenty of it. You wouldn't worry about the bill, you wouldn't worry about the extra ticket, but the truth is, in the world there's plenty of flow. 
And when we feel uncomfortable, when we feel afraid, we close off our intuition. It's kind of like survival of the fittest, but what happens is it blocks us from that flow. Intuition actually helps us become abundant because somebody, a lot of times I find people start businesses and they're creative and it's flowing. The minute fear steps in, it closes down. But when you get creative, in fact, Spirit often says, creativity is to children what meditation is to adults. So creative, natural flow. When you pay attention to what's natural and you allow it, you don't get in that way and block it. So it does help us become abundant. If we ignore intuition, it also helps us uh, uh, run through it a lot quicker. There's that fear. Um, I do find that our relationship with source sometimes mirrors our relationship with money. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. It helps us have better relationships. I find a lot of people with unhealthy, toxic relationships allow it. It'll start, you notice the pattern, and then at that moment you're feeling, I don't understand this, he's lying to me, it doesn't feel right, my gut is off, and it's 10 years later, and it's still happening. So that intuition allows us to have better relationships. How many times did you say, I just needed to call her, and it was the last time you spoke to your mom? If we ignore intuition, we don't have that call. Um, it also helps us help others. Fundraising. I love doing anything for animals. They would not be able to thrive if it were not for some of us answering that call. This one I want to skip, but intuition helps us eat better. Um, I'm Polish Italian Irish, so I'm one of seven. Uh, but it is true, there is a, a diet that people are talking about called the intuitive diet. And the truth is, when we listen to our body, our body will tell us what we need, when we need to rest. We fight our well-being quite a bit. I just like food, so intuition helps us sleep better. How many times did your head hit the pillow and you immediately go, oh, I'm ready to go out, and then we pick up the phone and we go to Pinterest? When we pick up that phone and we continue working in bed or you know, scrolling, um, let go, whatever. Um, but uh, what happens is it keeps our brain going, and we go, and we go till two in the morning, then we're exhausted the next morning. It's a constant cycle. When we listen to our intuition and trust that, we go to sleep. In fact, when you wake up the next morning, you will wake up to the exact energy you left when you went to sleep. If you and your spouse ever had an argument, and you go to bed, you wake up, it's going to be the same exact energy even if you pretend it's not and you put it under the rug. Energy will never lie. And I love watching people try to prove to me that, that it can. Energy will never lie. And your intuition will always tell you, first and foremost, it's either on or it is off. Someone's upfront or they're not. This is authentic or it isn't. Intuition helps us live better lives. Intuition is an essential leadership tool, and that's from Forbes Women, Bonnie Marcus. So I don't know Bonnie Marcus, but I know she's with Forbes Women, and I was like, yeah. Um, it's an essential leadership tool. Have you, a lot of you, heard of Brene Brown? Okay. Great speaker, great author. She has a great book called Dare to Lead. What I like about her, she actually gets into corporate America speaking this stuff, but it comes through in a way where corporate America receives it. And she does a lot of work with vulnerability. And I think that's powerful. And what I loved about that is leadership is not just being a boss or a manager. How many leaders or managers are in this room? Not easy. Everybody wants to be in management, and then they're in management, and they're like, what did I do? You don't get paid enough, and you're often asked to look the other way. Does it feel good? Leadership is about leading, not managing. So many people can manage. They barely can manage their lives. But leading is very different. It's look at how I do it. Let's do it together. Um, I'm going to feel that this employee's strength is this, and I'm going to lift that instead of degrade them. How many people have had horrible bosses? Sorry, if you're watching. Um, I'm good. Um, I've watched so many business 
owners and working with business owners, they literally shut that vulnerability off. They hide their gift, they hide their creativity, and the minute you block your leadership abilities, you block your flow. And that trick goes all the way down, no matter how big the corporation is. I worked for a very large medical insurance company, no names, and um, it depleted my soul every single day. And I audited, I did compliance policy procedure. <laughs> and our members didn't get healthier. But I watched adults beat the crap out of each other every day. And I'm the empath, and I'm sitting there texting my husband, I can't do this another day. But then you feel guilty taking your person walking out, right? Um, when you start to be gentle with yourself and start to listen to yourself, you can start to prepare and plan for. And chances are, the minute you let go, spirit's going to take you out of there anyway. It happens all the time. The minute we let go and stop worrying, we stop fighting what we're afraid of, half the time, some of my oldest souls that have all their clairs wide open, they're more afraid of what they don't know that's coming than they are about what's going on around them. Did you understand that? Most of us are more afraid about what we don't know is coming than we are afraid about what's in front of us. We future trip. Especially if you're intuitive, screw that. It's like, I know this is gonna be bad. How do you know that? That's not clear cognizance because when you're using your abilities, you will never have mal feelings from spirit. Spirit will never say, you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to fall. You're going to fail. That's never of spirit. Guilt is never of spirit. So when we're going into leadership, planning our lives, letting go, it is going to take a little bit of trusting that well-being, that alignment, listening without questioning. The hardest thing I think I do in this position is when I read you. And I'm looking at you, and your guides are talking. I don't know you. I don't know where you put your underwear. And I don't know what you look on the internet. They do. And they will say things, and my heart breaks because I literally can hear how you talk to yourself. And we go out every day pretending, how are you? I'm so good. And then inside, we're like, hey, fat ours, go ahead and eat that second donut. That's how we talk to ourselves. Go ahead, call your son. Well, he's not gonna pick up. You already messed up on that kid. Just leave him alone. That's never a spirit. I don't care if your spirit is source, God, higher power, Allah. It does not matter. It is a being of love. And when we ignore that, we are shut down. So, I know I'm gonna get, because it's not up there, and I always love to get into like lifting you guys. And All right, intuition is our ability to simply interpret energy. Do you know what energy is? Your clothes. How many people put hairspray on today? It's not just holding itself up. I found dry shampoo label, and I'm like, oh, it's wonderful, Aussie. It's called Texture, it's at Target. Um, energy <laughs> is everything, everywhere, every moment. Think about, and no more kids are in your room. That moment you've had with your lover, wherever it was, whoever it was, at any moment, no one needs to know, but there's that one moment where you had that one connection. And it's like an exchange of energy. That's why it felt so mountain moving. And it's often an emotional exchange first. You are your best piece of paranormal equipment. I'm always brought in and compared with the equipment. Yay. And I look at the equipment and it's limited. And it's not that I'm better, I have no batteries. But your intuition is everything. In fact, the energy we're picking up on is a soul. People don't stay behind because everything's happy-go-lucky. Often people stay behind, energy stays behind because of lower vibrational emotions, fear, uh, contempt, regret, how many murderers I've actually connected with in locations, the Deering Estate down in Miami, there was a, a murder in the basement, and the murderer was not angry, he was sad, he felt 
guilty, so much so that he hasn't transitioned. How many people think they can cross people over? This is my favorite. I love you. I don't know you, but I just love you for raising your hand. Well, I decided that it wasn't definitely. If you ever go somewhere and someone says, let me show you, we're gonna cross them over, you leave that location very quickly. If you go somewhere and someone says, let's call in energy to assist in the crossover, bing, 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 bing. People are stubborn. How many times do you go in and go, look, you're still here, just go to the other side? No, it's like from 1853, they're still not gone. People are people. We have a choice to transition or not. In fact, I see with a lot of kids, they don't know, they don't understand. They're still looking for mom or they're still scared and lonely. So trying to explain that to somebody, it's, it's very hard to do, but you're trying to tap into energy. So you going into an environment, what are you feeling in that haunted environment? I use haunted because that's what we understand. In an environment where energy is lingering, what are you feeling? If you're clairvoyant, what are you seeing? You walk into the room, some people will see um, a Native American battle, blood. It isn't, I don't wanna say the term, um, it's not a competition. I go to a lot of uh, cases and I see a lot of intuitives. No, it's this and I see this. And it's like, hold on a minute. Connect to who you are, ground your, breathe. I'm gonna go around the room and I can tell you who does not breathe on a daily basis. <laughs> Breathing, the minute you go to that bathroom, cause y'all do. <laughs> I ain't using my clairvoyance with this one. <laughs> You're on that toilet. Spirit, God, whoever has you there, put the phone down. Breathe in for a count of four. Why? Because you're alive and you're about to lose your mind with your boss. Breathe in. Hold it. Even if you're pissed, hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale for a count of five or six. Do it a second time. Do it a third time. Why? Flush, wash, and go. You do that throughout the day, you're meditating. Oh, I said the M word. People are like, I can't meditate. Meditating is quieting your mind. I don't care how you do it. Quieting your mind without judgment. I like the counting because a lot of us who are uh, ADD, ADHD, OCD, um, or just highly sensitive, our minds don't stop. So we're in this great meditation and laundry's piling up and there goes the bill. Shit, now I'm negative in the bank. Nothing even happened. There goes that moment with spirit, moment with self. So if you're on the toilet, take advantage. Use your time wisely. I find that we are crammed into these very limited bodies with a shelf life. As we get older, it doesn't get easier. Your knees start making noise. The girls start looking south. <laughs> Use what you got. Intuition will always be with you. I will say this. How many of us have had uh, loved ones pass away from Alzheimer's? Dementia. Very difficult, I've seen it. In so many readings, I'm an auditor, so over the years I look at patterns. Do you know how many times Spirit has said, oh, we had to take her mind because it would have been too painful for her to let go? How beautiful is that? We think about it as painful, because that's not Mary over there. I don't know who, what's going on with her. It's breaking my heart. She doesn't remember me. But Mary is able to disconnect from her body and let go. It's all how we look at it. You are your best piece of equipment. When you are breathing and meditating, you are connected to who you are. And this is going to be a big question. It's going to require vulnerability. And I'm gonna raise my hand. How many of us don't know who we are? <coughs> so the people that raised your hand, bad ass. And those of you who did it, that's okay. Sometimes we don't know who we are because we're always evolving. We're always growing, we're gonna change. Not the same way we were at 18. Could have kept the body though. Um, <laughs> We do go into some stuff here about an experience because you know how many paranormal events you go to until you count where the word demon, demonic comes up, right? It's like, oh my God, it was just in the first five minutes. People hear demonic, people hear uh, dark energy and we start to get like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> There's energy everywhere. Energy is everywhere. You can go to the bathroom of Burger King. Someone's grandmother's in the stall next to you, not in body. 
There's light, there's dark. Most of the cases I've worked where there's growling, it's human. The guy's upset. I think we take things so seriously and then sometimes we don't listen enough. It's not that we struggle with being intuitive. Our struggle exists when we choose to pay attention to our fear instead of our intuition. Fear, which I love the way my husband, it's not everything in one. It's for everything a reason. And when we look at fear, fear is a vibration that does not feel good. It's healthy when you're creating a new business, when you're in a new relationship, there's that first feeling of exhilaration. You learn how to drive a stick shift or a snowmobile, forget that. But um, I hide your plane at home with Jeep tires. I'll be in the middle of the lake. So um, it is so important to take advantage of the life you have in this body because you did not come this far to come this far. Muscles are no muscles. <laughs> muscles are no muscles. We work so hard, some of us work real hard on our body. Some of us work real hard on our brain, degrees, right? Some of us work real hard just on the soul. We are a beautiful, complex, actually very simple creature mind, body, and soul. And when we neglect any of those things, we will feel off. Intuition helps us stay whole, feel whole. I don't believe we're broken. I believe we have hiccups. I believe we have challenges and struggles. But that's also how we learn how to utilize our intuition. Do you, it's literally a lot better. There's pretty sounds and stuff. Do any of you have any questions? Okay, then. Um, I think we're good. I want to thank you for letting me take this time and, and rigging it again. What's this? What's going on with this? The telephone was rigged, but it worked. Thank you for having me. If you guys have any questions about intuition, I would love to uh, help build you up. Uh, we have uh, about 10 minutes before we'll bring Dustin on. Uh, while Dustin is on, some of our great people that are helping us this weekend are gonna be going around and finalizing those um, silent auction items. So uh, this is your last 10 minutes to run out there and make sure you open somebody that keeps opening you by a dollar. <laughs> um, Got my third round. Before we get to the end and I'm crying a lot, just want to thank you all for being here again. It means the world to me. Um, get yourself a break. Come in. You don't, you're not going to worry. That's wonderful. I, I don't know how to turn your... <laughs> Thank you. It's alive. Oh, let me flip it back. <laughs> I always go live, but I never get to uh, go live like that. This is Deb. How do you pronounce your last name? De Roos. De Roos. De Roos. So this is Deb. You want to show us some of your stuff? For sure. I'm going to flip you. Okay. <laughs> well, show us, show us this man first. This man in the middle, that wizard there, is my husband RJ. Hello, he RJ. He's my twin soul. He's got great hair. And the love of my life. Yes. It's a little jealous. And together, we have a little metaphysical store. <laughs> metaphysical bookstore. I love. And on this table is a few of our items. Yeah. Can nice. An idea we have. That's our second book. And where can they get this? Online? They can get that on Amazon. Nice. Or any of our events. Okay. Or at our store, Mystical Awakenings Books and More. What is that again? Mystical Awakenings Books and More. And where are you at? Houghton Lake, Michigan. Houghton. 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 Chelsea was even Houghton saying Houghton. 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 Oh, Houghton, Michigan, way up in the UP. That's like 10 hours. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Are you going lower? 
Yeah, you're a little, you're a little high. Well, we're in the middle <laughs> finger anyway. But we're all love and light. We give it shit most of the I love. Love, love. Love, light, and hippie shit. That needs to be a t-shirt. You got it. There you go. I love all this stuff. Yes, and we put on the Michigan UFO con every year. Look at that. Yes, I was telling yes. him that earlier. Um, I did tag, I put you and Glenn together on Facebook Messenger. Oh, cool. Um, Glenn worked with MUFON, and he's We're pretty cool. We are MUFON. There yeah. you go. And MUFON is also um, very involved. Very neat. Nice. September 11th and 12th. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you for letting me. Oh my. She's pretty good at this. Oh, that's actually pretty, though. Wow. Hey, Mist. They're gorgeous. Well done. You're very welcome. Thank you. Very We're still live. Hey, hey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's this cute little one over here with awesome hair. We're doing a raffle. <laughs> you did a great job putting this all together. You are welcome. So Dustin's going to be going in and speaking for a little bit. Look wonderful on there. You did great. Would you like to say hi? I'm live. There you go. I just showed them. Yeah, I go live all the time. So, where can they find these? Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I feel like so many people put in my life and challenged me. I kept looking at. We're still live. Is that okay? Okay. I kept looking at you. I'm like, I like her. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. You shine. Okay. And then there's this guy. And then there's this guy. And this guy is what it's all about. If you guys are still watching, oh, my dad is on there. Um, go to aprilrome.com and you guys can still donate. You can go to autographsforpooches.com. Donate. Uh, all of the money is going to the Silver Muzzle Cottage, the old dog. So it's a pretty big deal. He's the star of the show right now. This Miss Chelsea, so much I can't say right now. <laughs> I loved her. This is one of my favorites. Look at Mr. Murray. There he is. Hi, baby. You're pooped. You did so good. Oh, hello. We could, didn't see this one yesterday. I didn't want to leave your facility. I just... We're live. This is the Silver Muzzle Cottage. This is where all of our funds are going for this event. So please go to aprilrone.com and donate. Oh, my God. Maya is sweet. What is this one's name? Delilah. Delilah. I love. That's what I was, yeah. See, people know me and my bling. It stays blingy without making everything I would love them. Um, where else can they donate? So I could show this. Um, we have um, a PayPal account. They can also go to our Okay. 
hang tight. We'll be updating it as soon as we need new supplies. Okay. Um, they can send us a chat and our address is on the Facebook page. Follow our Facebook page. Yes, it is. I know it's have been tagging you like crazy. There's the website, silvermuzzlecottage.com. Yeah. Awesome. And, oh. We've been crying since yesterday. Let me tell you, I have done a lot of work with rescues. And it's not always heartfelt when you go into the location. You can tell when one is not clean, even if they try. Yours was spotless. It was, the, but the animals had a little bit of confidence and there was, you could tell they were comfortable. And that, you know, you're not gonna just dump money into an organization that you don't believe in. So I would love to keep helping you somehow. We could send funds from Florida, right? That would be great. Well, I want to increase that. I love that. I, we can get that going. We could definitely get that going. Hi. I'm in St. Augustine, Palm Coast. Um, I do work out of Hotel Casadega in Casadega, Florida, which is the psychic mecca of the world. Sister to Lilydale spiritual, Spirituals Camp. Um, but the owner is a huge animal lover. And uh, we could possibly do some stuffs. I would like to get Tim down there. We could do maybe another potographs down there. Hmm. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. Oh, there she is. This sweet baby is seeping. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Look, you're so comfy. Hi, honey. Hi, love, my love. Look, her so pretty. She's so pretty. You know, they're just comfortable. That's just the sweetest thing in the world. Thank you. Hi. <sighs> Let me end this. We're live. So, no, you're good. This way... We can mingle. All right, guys, I'm going to go back and uh, have a little more fun. I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, if you still want to donate, please go to aprilroan.com, uh, potographsforpooches.com, visit Silver Muzzle Cottage, like them on Facebook. I'll see you guys later. Dad, I love you. Bye.